Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Missy. Thanks for joining me again for another process video. I made this layout for the Hip Kit Club and I'm using the 2015 June kits. And as you can see, they are full of bright, pretty colors. And I decided to use a lot of the pattern papers on this layout and I wanted to create circles. I was just feeling circles on this. So I pulled out my two inch circle punch and I just punched a bunch of circles in different patterns and different colors. And I really love that fancy pants, the flowers. And I love the back of it, it's pink and red stripes. Um, and I think I've used some of both sides so far on my other layouts. So that pink cardstock is so pretty. It's called Begonia, I think, and it's in the cardstock kit. It's such a pretty rich pink, and I was wanting to use some of that, so I incorporated that into this page. And I decided to <clears throat> go with this mint colored background. I use white a lot, especially if I'm going to do a lot of mixed media on the background. But on this page, I did not do any mixed media on the background. And so I went with the mint color and I think it's really pretty. Or I guess it's a light aqua. Um, I like the way it looks with the pictures and I like the contrast with all the different colors in the circles. So I'm going to just adhere all the circles down with my ATG here and um, go from there. And these kits, I don't know, I really, really love them so much. And I just, I haven't felt the need to do a lot of mixed media in the backgrounds for this month. Um, and you know me, I love getting messy. So um, I do find other ways to do mixed media. And that's coming up later. So in the meantime, this is just a very dry and uh, clean layout for me. And sometimes it's just nice to change things up. So speaking of mixed media, I guess you could call this part mixed media. If it involves getting messy, I call it mixed media. So anyway, I'm going to take the two ink pads that come in the color kit and just kind of smush them together to create this really pretty orangey melon color. And I'm just going to dip my stamp. The stamp is a uh, sunburst and it comes in the color kit. And as you can see, since I'm not directly stamping the ink pad directly onto the stamp, it's kind of splotchy and I kind of like that look. It depends on the look you're going for. Um, if you want a more crisp, darker image, you know, stamp the stamp directly onto the ink pad. But I kind of wanted to try something different. So I just slide it through the ink on the plastic and it creates, um, you can really see the texture of the cardstock through the stamp. And so here you'll see the difference. I just stamped the ink pad directly onto it and so it's way it's, uh, it's way thicker and you can see the difference right there. It's, it's a lot more pigmented and darker. And I didn't really want that harsh line between the two. I, I like the mix of the two colors and so I don't wind up using that one. But um, just depends on the look you're going for. And uh, this is a fun way to add ink to your page without getting really messy and without if you're I know sometimes when you stamp directly onto your background your stamp may be crooked or it may not stamp you know, all the way and, and then you're stuck with this stamp. So this is a good way to do it where you're not going to mess up your background because you're essentially stamping on some scrap paper here. So I'm taking my embossing ink and I'm just going to stamp right over the pigmented stamp and I'm going to do some embossing. And if you got the color kit this month, then you got these ink pads, you got this stamp and you got some of the uh, orange and clear embossing powder. And I'm going to use the clear. And whatever color you stamp, if you use the clear embossing powder, the color is going to shine right through it. So it doesn't add any color. All it does is add a little bit of texture and a lot of shine. So you can see there, I, heat, I use my heat gun off camera there, and you can see how shiny it is. And when you touch it with your hands, it's raised up. So it definitely adds some texture to it. So... This was fun. I really enjoyed doing this. And I'm just going to uh, create four of the sunbursts here with my uh, embossing powder and heat gun. And I just realized that my heat gun can't actually reach under my camera. So now you can actually see the embossing powder 
melt. You can kind of see the color change if you look closely there. It's really neat to watch it just melt and bubble up and turn into this shiny texture. It's hard to tell on camera, but <clears throat> in real life, it's really pretty. And you can do this on your background. You can do this with any stamp. Um, there's so many colors of embossing powder. and I don't have a whole lot. Um, you know, I'd rather stamp a colored image and then use the clear over it. That way you know exactly what you're getting. On my previous layout, I used the orange over the, um, the pink ink and it turned out really cool too so you just have to play with it and mix and match and see see what you want to come up with so i'm just going to um take my circle punch here and make sunburst circles because my layout is full of circles and i didn't want to put random squares on those circles and so i'm going to make sunburst circles and this was kind of fun and this is an, a neat way to you know add some ink and texture to your page without putting it directly on the background. I did take some uh, gold thread and machine stitched through all of the pattern paper circles and I'm not going to stitch through the embossed circles just because they, they have so much texture already and I just didn't feel like I needed to stitch through those so I just stick those down and I love the the soft reddish orangey color that they give and the texture and the shape just very cool so I'm gonna come in with some vellum and you always get some vellum in the cardstock kit as well it's a fun thing to use so many ways to use that I like to use it for layers that's one of the project life cards and I really really love them this month Kim Watson, who's also a design team member who is amazing, she designed them and they match the kits perfectly. They match the colors, they match the embellishments, and there's so much you can do with them, even if you don't do Project Life, which, which I don't. Um, I use them for layering. On my very first layout using these kits, I hand cut out two of them and use them for embellishments. So don't feel like you're limited to just Project Life because you're definitely not lots of things you can do with them and there's some four by six cards and some of the three by fours so plenty of different shapes and I love that they're exclusive to the hip kits because they match perfectly they look exactly like they came with the crepe paper and the fancy pants paper so this is a fun little embellishment card that I'm going to use it's from fancy pants and I'm just going to take my craft knife and cut these little banner pieces so they pop up I want to overlap them over my picture on the left side just be careful with your craft knife because <clears throat> the thought of a cut finger and blood going all over the place is not appealing blood splatters is not as cool as uh, color shine splatters <laughs> oh, no no blood please I'll be passing out you would see me pass out on camera if that happened so now I'm taking some darker aqua thread and just making my little tangles there. And it just adds texture. I love adding thread. I think I do that on every page I make these days. And it just adds, it adds some texture, it adds some, some color. It's a great way to add a pop of color, some interest. And it gives a little bit of a messy factor just because it's a big tangle and it looks like it just fell there. So here's a fun way to color up some of these wood veneers. Take out your ink pads, stick your finger in it, and smudge it on. It's very technical. <laughs> um, and when you use this yellow and the red together, or the pink, whatever color you want to call that, it creates this really pretty orange. Now I wanted to color this one the darker aqua color, so I just pull out a couple of different shades of my gelatos and um, color it. The wood veneer, I just love the wood veneer. Evalicious does such a beautiful job of of their wood veneer. I love the words, I love the shapes, and we've we've been getting a lot of that in the kits lately, and um, they're just 
It's so much fun. And you can use them as is. You can color them with inks, gelatos, paints, pretty much anything you want. You could even emboss them. I've done that before. Just stick your embossing ink on it, put the powder on it, heat, use your heat gun on it, and it works perfectly. So I'm going to work on my title. I'm going to use some of those Ellie's Studio teal stickers down here underneath the picture. And my title is going to be Such a Little Busybody because that describes Paige to a T. These pictures are from a couple years ago, and uh, she's six now, but one thing has not changed is she is a busybody. From the moment she wakes up until the moment she passes out at night, she is going. Going, going, going. And so if I want a picture of her, I'm pretty much got to get an action shot. So if I ever get a posed picture of her, it's by accident because... Uh, she does not pose. Every once in a while, she'll stop and give me a cheesy little grin, and it's a miracle. But uh, usually, she's running just like this. She's running, jumping, rocking. She's going. So I'm definitely going to use that camera, and I'm going to uh, pair that with the wood veneer there. And I, I took some of my yellow thread and made a messy circle there. And I'm going to do that two more times here in a minute. It's pretty easy to do. If you take your spool of thread and you just um, pull out three or four big pulls on it, and then you make a giant loop of it, and then you just kind of twist and loop, twist and loop, twist and loop, kind of like you're doing a ponytail holder, until you get a circle. And it's really fun because um, it adds some color, it adds some shape, and it's something different than just your average tangle of thread. And it goes with my circle element here, so I kind of like that. I'm going to add in another wood veneer here, but I'm going to color it again using the finger method. If that's even a method. But I want to add a little bit of orange, so I add some gelato there. I was so excited last week. I went into Michael's and I found the pack of the 12 pack of Brights and I had a coupon, so I had to get them and they're almost neon. Some of them are neon. Oh my gosh beautiful beautiful colors I had to get a bigger container for my gelatos because now it's full and that little circle teal circle acetate piece there it actually has the word August on it but these pictures are from April so I just use that wood veneer to cover up the word August and you would never know it said August so there are ways of uh, covering things up when you need to I'm going to come in with some navy blue Heidi Swap Color Shine. And for whatever reason, when I splattered these on, they didn't really make circles. They kind of bled out into actual splatters. And at first it kind of bugged me, but as it dried, I kind of liked it. So I just let it go. I don't know if it was a combination of the color, or not the color, but the, um, the cardstock or what, because I didn't add any gesso or anything to the background but not a big deal so I'm going to come in with the chicken itty stamps that came in last month's color kit that would be the the uh, May kits and add a little bit of uh, sentiment stamping around the page I think that says remember this above the camera and I think that's you bring sunshine to my soul down there by the title and then the last thing I'm going to do is come in with this little arrow and just do some stamping off creating a little ombre look there with the stamping. And I really like how this turned out. I'm going to finish off with a date. I don't even think I did any journaling because such a little busybody says it all. And that's the final, the final page right there. I really love how it turned out. I love the colors and all of the circles. And the embossing was really fun. So... I want to say thank you to all of my subscribers, all of my new subscribers. Thank you guys so, so much. I hope you enjoyed watching this. Visit hipkitclub.net, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for joining me. Bye.